Now that Ubuntu 21.04 is out and everyone who wants to has had a chance to install it and play around with it, it's time to look forward to what's next. The next release of Ubuntu will come out in October and it will be called 21.10. We have the code name, I can't pronounce it as usual, it's Impish Idri? Something like that? It's really weird. But no matter what the name is, we do know a little bit about what we should get in 21.10. So today what we're going to do is take a look at ahead at what features we'll see in that release but first we should note that this is very early in the development stage none of these features have truly been announced and even the ones that we know of for sure may be dropped before we get to the release because of bugs or whatever uh, so take what we talk about today with a grain of salt and just know that we won't know for sure what features we're going to get until probably august-ish um, maybe even a little bit later than that. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump in. So, probably the biggest thing that we'll see in 21.10 when we get there is a new installer. Now, Ubuntu has been using the Ubiquiti installer for at least a decade, quite a long time. It's showing its age, especially when compared to something like Calamari's. Now, why Ubuntu has just not chosen just to use Calamari's, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what their reasoning is. What they've chosen to do instead is write themselves a new installer based on Flutter. Now, uh, Flutter is a web technology, is a development package SDK thing that I don't truly understand. Uh, it may not even be really based on the web stuff. I'm not, sh like I said, I don't understand all the goings on behind it. I'm not a developer at all. All I know is that it's a cross-platform development SDK thing that will allow developers to write packages that function on multiple systems. So we should see in 21.10 that brand new installer. We do have some idea of what it will look like. If you see here on the screen, we've seen some mock-ups of what it will look like. And it will look a little bit different than what Ubiquity looks like. Uh, but it's not going to be so totally different than what ubiquity is. Uh, we should expect it to be at least a little bit faster may and maybe possibly surface some options that have been buried before in ubiquity. So that's one thing we'll expect to see. Outside of the installer, the next biggest thing we'll see is something to do with GNOME 40. Now, if you've never seen GNOME 40, I have a video and I'll try to put it up in the tags and link it below if I remember. But basically, GNOME 40 is a completely new change, uh, or they bill it as a completely ch new change to what GNOME has always done. They've moved the dock, they've changed the way multitasking works and stuff. If you know anything about the way Ubuntu works, that you'll know that in 21.04, Ubuntu actually skipped GNOME 40 and they stayed on GNOME 3.38. They did take some applications from GNOME 40, specifically things like the to-do app and maps, I believe and a couple other ones, uh, and put them in here. Those are GNOME 40 apps, but the rest of everything here is GNOME.3.38. In Ubuntu 21.10, we should see for the first time what Ubuntu will be doing with all that new shiny GNOME stuff. It remains to be seen how much of the new design from GNOME they actually adopt. It would surprise me greatly if they actually changed the UI of Ubuntu. They've had this side panel here uh, and the top panel here for so long, going going back to the Unity days. I doubt very much they actually change it. Now, I hope that they do change it. I would really like them to, sh to adopt some of the you know, stuff just because I like things to change every once in a while, but uh, it really would surprise me if we get anything in terms of a, a, of a UI refresh. Uh, for Ubuntu. Uh, so don't be surprised if when Ubuntu 21.10 comes out, it looks basically like this. In terms of stuff that will actually will get put in here from GNOME 40, we'll see an update to most of the apps for GNOME 40. We'll see things like Nautilus 40, things like the calculator and calendar and all that kind of stuff, all updated to GNOME 40 stuff. In terms of the UI and stuff, it still remains very much to be seen how much of the GNOME 40 stuff has actually put into the next Ubuntu release. And finally, most of the rest of the stuff that we expect to see will be under the hood. Things like a, a brand new kernel. We'll probably see 5.14 in the next Ubuntu release. 
that'll bring along with it more hardware support for newer hardware and so on and so forth. The stuff you would normally get with a new kernel. We'll also see things like GCC 11, which will be the default system compiler. Uh, we'll also see uh, the GNU C library 2.34, several other under the hood stuff that most people don't really care about. And we'll also see probably some tweaks and stuff that they're trying to get perfected for the LTS. 21.10 is a very important release for Canonical and Ubuntu because it's the last interim release before the LTS. So anything that goes into 21.10 is likely going to be uh, something that will have to be very much polished before it goes into the LTS because they don't want to put anything in the LTS that's going to cause a lot of problems. So if Wayland, for some reason, hasn't really been worked on or hasn't been perfected by the time 21.10 comes around. We'll see more improvements there, but it may we may start seeing some news items saying that maybe Wayland doesn't come to 20, uh, 22.04, which is the next LTS. Uh, things like GNOME 40 and stuff like all that, any changes they bring in for GNOME 40 will have to be perfected in 21.10 because if it's not 21 or 22.04 probably won't see those things so uh, 21.10 is their last chance to get all this stuff kind of put together i would expect 21.10 to be a much bigger release than what we saw with 21.04 uh, simply because we have the gnome 40 stuff we have a new kernel we have the new installer all this stuff is going to be put into this last release before the lts and uh, we'll probably see some more point releases and stuff you know between 21.10 and 22.04 uh, simply because they need to go through and get a lot of this stuff actually uh, polished up and buttoned up before the LTS comes out. So that's Ubuntu 21.10. Uh, there's not a lot we know for sure now. The installer will probably for sure see uh, in the betas and stuff. The only way we wouldn't see that probably is if it's not ready to go by the time they ship it, in which case we probably won't see it until next year, probably 22.10. Uh, because if it's not ready for this 21 to, to, for this interim release, it would have to wait till the next interim release. They would not do something brand new in the LTS. The GNOME 40 stuff is really the biggest question mark we still have. We don't know what of the GNOME 40 stuff they're going to pull in, specifically with the new UI elements of GNOME 40, what is going to change. Uh, like I said before, I personally hope they change the UI, but I don't think that that's going to happen. So in the comments below... Tell me what you're looking forward to the most with 21.10. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank our current patrons, Devon, Marcus, Maglin, Donnie, Sven, Merrick, Camp, and Mitchell. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.